We're taking Louie, well about to take Louie to Petco because Louie's going to do some doggy school because he's a little poop. He's not a place. He is. He's not a little poop. You're not a little poop, huh? You're a big poop. <laughs> Hello everyone. Okay, I need to do a little intro. Okay, so before we leave, I wanted to show you something. I did go blonder. So that was too brown. So, I've always wanted to wear glasses. Some of you might have heard of the brand Warby Parker, and they have really cool glasses. And you can, they will send you five of them for free to try on at home. You get to like choose the five. And so I think I'm gonna wear one. Okay, ready? I wanna show you. Yeah. Okay, so you hold the camera. Okay, and you tell me what your favorite is, okay? Okay. Okay, so I like the lot, I like the like clear pinky ones, you know I told you about that? Yep. Okay, so one, this is one of them. I think it's a little too small for my face. Mmm, don't love it. <laughs> okay. And then, and there's this one that I don't think I love how it like, it like dips down. Mmm, those are better than the first one. You think so? Okay, and then here's one more clear one, but it's more of like a champagne-y color. It's not <clears throat> so pink. I think these are really cute. I like those. Okay, and then I got two brown ones. Oh my gosh, just gurgled. Don't do that! You can't see them from far away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so then here's one that I think were kind of like the ones, remember, when you got some and I, and I wore them? Oh yeah. I like those. These kind of look like I, I don't. I don't think these were the exact ones, but these are kind of the. They actually look a little bit thicker than they remember them. Because I don't think they look the same. And then these are one of my favorites, which I actually didn't think I'd like that much. So they're a little slant, crooked. I like those ones. Do you? Yeah, you look like that little uh, that like scholastic a... worm with. I the know. Bar. So I like these. I think my favorite are these and then these. I got them because I want to like wear them like around. around. Okay, so which one should I wear right now? Should I wear these today? Yeah. Ready? Do I look smart? Mm-hmm. I think these are cute. I think I look like Sarah's day. Oh, help us. Okay, let's go. So I actually don't even know if I said it correctly what we were doing. But we're going to Petco right now with Louie because we're sending him up for doggy school. He's going to meet the trainer and the trainer is just going to kind of see like what he knows and how he acts and stuff for a few minutes. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Down. Louie, wait. Wait. Good boy. It's time to pop my birthday balloons. What song should we sing? Feliz Navidad. Okay. Ready? Not yet. Come on! One, two, three. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Do, do, do. Oh, I'm losing it. Do it again. I'm really headed. I can't do any more. Feliz Navidad, <laughs> prospero año y felicidad. New, 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 new. I don't feel good. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> You're done. No. <laughs> Tell as old as time. I don't feel good. <laughs> I'm going to faint. So, uh, tomorrow night we leave for Tahoe, which I'm really excited about. And uh, we're going to Tahoe with my family for 4th of July. So, our aunt, my aunt and uncle have a house have a house there and that's where we stay. We go there every Christmas and it's my first time going there for 4th of July. I've been in the summer but just not 4th of July. You're letting flies in. Oh. So Kyle's wanting cookies and I'm just gonna make something up. 
Usually when I make my cookies, I just make up the recipe. But we don't really have much stuff. Really want to make those paleo um, blueberry custard things. But the only ingredient we don't have is blueberries. Can you start making the dough if I were to go run by blueberries real quick? Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah, let me just check to make sure how long it takes to cook it. So pretty much the thing to know with any, and this isn't just paleo, any sort of like, like if you make like a lemon bar or anything like that, you need to, um, when you make the crust, you need to put on the custard immediately. Like when you put it on, the custard, the egg and the custard will automatically start to cook a little bit on the really hot crust. And if you wait for it to cool, it'll start to like go underneath the crust. He's gonna go do that, get all the blueberries now, so hopefully I can get everything done on time. So for the crust, I need 3 4th cup of coconut flour. Okay, then a fourth a cup of tapioca flour. I have arrowroot starch and that's pretty much the same. A lot of times when I look at recipes and it calls for like arrowroot, it'll say tapioca is okay. Or if it calls for tapioca, it'll say arrowroot okay. So hopefully this is okay. And three tablespoons of raw honey. Okay, now I need a fourth a cup plus two tablespoons of coconut oil. <laughs> Everything's like a fourth a cup. What the heck? When I add coconut oil to things, I uh, melt it first before I put it in. It's just easier to mix. I really don't think it makes any difference if it's like melted or non-melted. It's not like butter, like if you melt butter. Because some people, depends where you live, your coconut oil might always be melted or your coconut oil might always be hard. I really only like baking with coconut oil. I really don't like cooking with coconut oil because I feel like it has a very strong coconutty taste. And I feel like everything that I've made with coconut oil, I taste the coconut oil and it like kind of ruins the flavor. I just cook with olive oil. I never cook with like canola oil or anything, but um, I just use olive oil. I guess the thing with olive oil is like, once it hits a certain temperature, it's like not good for you. I don't know. Whatever. I'm still alive. You must have really wanted dessert because going to the grocery store right now does not sound fun. It's like almost 10 o'clock. <laughs> okay, I also need to add an egg in there. So while that's melting, I'll just add my egg. Okay, so it says an eight by eight pan, but I only have nine by nine. So hopefully that one extra inch is not a big deal. Now, I never used to do this before, but anytime I look at a recipe, especially when it's paleo, I, like usually there's like a blog post on it sometimes, depends what, where you look, but the ones I look at, usually there's like a post on it before the recipe, and I always would just skip those, but now I always read them, because there's times where I've read them, and it'll say like, in the recipe I put this, but when I made it, I tried it with this, and I thought, that it was a really nice touch. You don't have to do that, but it's a really nice touch. And so like that kind of stuff has just happened a lot. So I'm like, oh, okay, and then I'll do the thing that they recommended and it's super good. So sometimes it's just a good idea to actually read that and hear like what they, like, cause I found out about the whole crust thing when you're doing these bars through reading that post. And if I didn't read that, I probably wouldn't have done it right. Okay, I just read it and there's nothing really I need to know. Except for she did say that it's not an extremely sweet dessert. And so she said if you really, like, really want it sweet, then you can add more honey, because honey is a sweetener in this. Okay, so it first says to whisk the eggs together and then add the honey. So I need four eggs, and I brought them out here. One egg, two egg, three egg, four egg. A fourth a cup of raw honey. Fourth a cup of honey. <laughs> Yep. Yep. So then I need to add two tablespoons of tapioca flour. Again, just gonna use arrowroot. So arrowroot is just a thickening agent. It's a, another alternative pretty much for cornstarch. Okay, so I need one. This is definitely plenty. <laughs> He's put his head near the camera and started chewing. Oh, they heard it. One and a fourth cup of blueberries. Oh my gosh, these are so puny. So, okay. 
Oh my gosh, dropping them everywhere. Okay, that just made my whole custard like a nasty blue color. The picture was like a pretty yellow custard with the blueberries and mine's now like an ugly colored. the taste that counts. Action. So it says that it should be golden. I think that's good. So while it's hot, I have to pour this on top. Oh. Okay. Ow! That was stupid. Why did I do that? Are you okay? <laughs> we'll be back in just a oh moment. Oh my gosh. Ow, why did I do that? Are you okay? It's not gonna feel good tomorrow. Why did I do that? That was so stupid. Okay, next time let's use an oven mitt. Let's try it again. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this in. It says for 20, 20 to 30 minutes. So I always start with the lowest and then if it needs more, I'll just keep adding more. And the way that you know that it needs more time is if it's still like jiggly in the middle. You want it to be sturdy. All right, so I meant 20 to 25, not 20 to 30. But I did it for 20, I took it out and the middle was still really jiggly, so I put it in for five more and it's perfect and it's not moving and it seems like it's pretty sturdy. So now it says to just let it cool and it says you can add like a drizzle of honey or something on top. I'll let you know how it tastes when I can actually try it. Okay, you're supposed to wait until it's completely cooled. Oh my gosh, then my teeth blew. But we try it and it's really good. Winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, we're at Lake Tahoe now. We, uh, I was saying we flew in. We drove uh, last night and we got here about midnight and I was so tired. My aunt and uncle are with their boat right now and I think we're just kind of waiting for it or something to then go on. This is where um, the boats come in and then over there is where we can swim. So we're on day three now of our Tahoe trip. I'm not really filming much just because we're with we're with family and it's not really always the best time to like pick up my camera and bring it around everywhere. So um, hopefully I'll get to film a little bit today of just us hanging out and the fireworks and stuff. But yeah, I think our really, really our day just is going to consist of hanging out. I think some of the family is going to go on a little bit of a hike or a walk or something. Then we're going to go to the beach tonight to look at fireworks, but I don't know. We'll see how our day goes. Are you okay? Is that your face? Are you okay? <laughs> So obviously I am back home from Tahoe. Uh, we got home actually yesterday morning. We left at 6 a.m. and then 
came he got here around like nine or something we kind of had to cut our trip early because we had to get to work yesterday but the rest of the family went like I know they went like fly fishing or the boys did and they went on the boat went wakeboarding and stuff so kind of bummed that we didn't get to do that but at least we went on the boat um like I think it was the first day we got there or something in the second day so anyways uh it's the morning now and I'm on my way to a doctor's appointment and I'm actually going to start my next vlog right now <laughs> but before that I need to end this one so I just want to say thank you for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and I will see you later